Hey Social Cam, it's me, your boy Levi. Tonight was quite interesting, uh, and if I was to give tonight a, uh, a title, I would call it The Pastors Behind Me. Here's why I say that. A friend of mine, an old friend of mine, came into town, been gone for about seven years, haven't talked to him, seen him at all. They came into town, they called me, they said, hey, you should come out and hang with everybody. I didn't really want to, but um, so I avoided being around this group of people uh, from my past for a few days up until tonight. I was really contemplating it a whole lot, like, I don't want to do this, why don't I want to do it? So it was a lot going through my head, because I'm just not at that place that I used to be seven years ago. I'm not at those, I don't deal with those type of people, I don't have, I do not do those type of things. So tonight they called, it was like, hey, you coming through? And I said, yeah, I would go through. Um, but I was still a little anxious about it, but I still went. So the moment I walked in the door, I saw more people than I thought was going to be there. Uh, but um, the atmosphere was still the same, but it was the same because I walked in and saw an enemy, somebody that, well, I won't call him an enemy, somebody that I had an issue that had fallen out with, who was actually a really good close friend of mine, and um, I never got to really clean up the, you know, what it was, and I sat there for about 10 minutes, but I couldn't hold it any longer, so I walked over to them, and I said, you know, I don't really remember what happened in our past, but I want you to please forgive me. I, I probably said something that I shouldn't have said about you. You probably said some things about me. But from my behalf, on my behalf, forgive me. I apologize. Uh, I hate that our relationship and friendship broke up. Whatever the fallen out was, it wasn't even that serious. And the, the, the great part about it is that they said the same thing. It was like, I don't know what happened, but forgive me. Um, I apologize for everything. And it was just a great moment for me to know that no matter how long it is, that you know, if the tension was there, but I was still just like the one said, I don't want this tension, I don't want to be disliked, I don't want you to dis I don't want to dislike you for no reason at all. Um, so even though the atmosphere wasn't the one that I would prefer to be in, it was the one that I needed to be in at that point in time. Um, it didn't mean that I was any less of Lamont or the worship leader or any or whoever else. It was just you can be able to be around people and still stand your ground and be who you are. And that's what I did. Uh, they were able to do, of course, whatever they wanted to do. That's their thing, you know. But um, I wasn't. But the most impactful moment was for me was to be able to talk to an old friend and say, if I've sinned against you, forgive me. And they forgave me. And I was able to forgive them. And that was the most powerful moment to me. Uh, and it definitely, you know, in time, things change. People change. And I'm grateful for the change that I've made. And even though I was uncomfortable in that, in that arena and in that particular atmosphere, uh, but I was still, after a while, I was like, okay, I'm glad to be here to know that I am not that same person. So it was good for me. So uh, I would just call this social cam, I look at the past, or I left the past people. I love those people, and I love, you know, I remember the past, and it's great, but that's not who I am. It's not they are. We've all changed, we're all different people. Uh, it was good to see those people. Go another seven years ago, uh, because I feel bad my heart is lifted. That weight that was there, it was there. So, uh, guys, it's left behind. It's your boy, Lee.